Okay, hi everyone. This is another attempt. ISS is going to be around 500 kilometers from my location, plus minus 10. I'm not too sure because different apps has different data. Cal's Cal Sky says 508, but on Sky so far it says slightly different things. So I'm gonna do the same drill. As you can see, this is my controller. That's the scope there. I have the comfort of sitting in the car because I position myself so that I can just sit in the car and being lazy instead of just standing on the sun. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing what I did last time. Sadly, uh, sun is a bit po uh, spotless. Well, not a little bit. It's completely. There is a little bit of thing going on down here in this region which is upside down I would say if this is the normal view it's somewhere here if this is the sphere this is but it's upside down because of the optics so hopefully the ice is gonna go through like this somehow so it's gonna come from here and across the the disk somewhere there so I'm gonna use again my phone I hope it's visible I try not to keep it too close so this is ISS at the moment just right there if I center it showing just right there and if I change it for minutes I can speed up the time and I can see exactly what's gonna happen then I change it to seconds you can see the time, 11.07, uh, it's already in the future, because at the moment it's only 10.50, but I can check exactly the path, so you see if I zoom in, this is going to happen, and then whoop, that's going to be the transit, there. So, as I was, oops, as I was showing, the ISS is coming, that, that sunspot region I showed you, which just drifted a little bit, I'll bring it back. So that sunspot region, I said it, it's upside down, so it's somewhere here, that should be somewhere here, and as you can see, ISS will come, if we zoom out a little bit, you see like that, so from here, it's going to cross. I would say if this is the clock, it's going to enter around 1, 1 o'clock, and it will exit around, well, probably 1.30, and then it will, this is 6, 7, 8, so it's around 7 o'clock, will exit the disk of the sun. Yep. So if I zoom out, and I say now, I can see that ISS is just down, well, it's far away from the horizon. If I press info, it's showing me exactly that ISS at the moment is 6,900 kilometers away and it's dropping, obviously, because it's going around the Earth, because this is a globe we are living in, despite a lot of people don't like the fact. It's still a fact. Okay, it's time to capture some ISS. Okay, as you can see, ISS is coming, is just above the horizon. It's gonna happen in like three minutes, but in the meantime, I'll show you what Meteo Blue is showing. Sadly, this is what disturbing me. 11 o'clock, and you can see this is a jet stream, which is not too great. But what can we do? We're gonna do whatever we can, isn't it? So this is gonna be the recording. I'm just trying to see, is it recording well? It seems like it is. Because last time it was dropping quite a few frames for some reason. I don't know why. 
and I missed like a good few frames for some reason but it's happening hopefully now so ISS is just right there if I center right now it's showing exactly where it is if I press info it shows it's only now it's less than a thousand kilometers away and it's rapidly coming There was somebody just passing me by, probably the owner of the of the place. Okay, now it's closing in rapidly, so I need to focus on what I'm doing. Okay. So remember it's gonna come from somewhere here and it's supposed to cross somewhere this way. Well we will see in a second. Okay, it's the elevation of Uranus, six hundred and odd kilometers, visual magnitude, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and I need to keep the disc of the sun in the center. Something like that, just to be ready. Okay, just if there's some inaccuracy, I always begin to record slightly earlier, just in case if, if there is some, you know, some something is not extremely accurate in the prediction. Right. Okay, so it's closing in, it's getting closer. Now we're gonna see exactly how accurate Sky Safari is. Okay, getting closer over the zenith and near zenith. Okay, recording is on. Capturing 27 frames in average. Okay, ISS should close up now. Getting closer. I tried to show it in real time. I hope the camera will show it. So it should cross the disk. Let's see. Sometime now. It should come right now. There it went, woo, yes. And you can see it's just passing the sun. Okay, let's stop the recording. <laughs> I can see some birds crossing the disk of sun as well. So it's now far away from the sun. Okay, what I do usually is I check what I have. And most likely by the time I'm going to open up the video, ISS is going to be just below the horizon. This is what usually happens. Okay. Some folder today is the second. So it's going to be in this folder. Should be the last video. By the way, I'll show you, this is the equipment, you see still pointing at sun. ISS in the meantime is getting closer to the horizon. Okay, so it should be towards the end of the video. Somewhere, yep, there it is. Right. There it is. Okay, I should be able to do it step by step. There it is. Oh, I can already see the panels. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice and big. You see that drop the frame. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. So it was entering, as I said, from there. Let me just put it in big screen. So it was coming from it's upside down let's not forget and it was just crossing the disc like that but I'm gonna process these frames and then obviously I share the real thing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen frames I've got pretty good result Ooh.